Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you this Harbor Freight uh, light, and it's designed like a light switch, but it's battery operated. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few things about this, and I uh, bought two of them a while back, and one has been on my desk, and uh, I use it just sort of like a flashlight. Um, remotely or by hand, uh, but this one I mounted on the bottom of my desk. I'm, I'm going to show you why I did that and how that works and how this has helped me by mounting it on the underside of my desk. Uh, but it wasn't working uh, today and um, obviously the batteries were, um, were dead. So you can take the batteries out in the back and I'm going to show you just uh, how that's done. It's very easy. This takes double A batteries and um, when you take them out uh, and put the new ones in, I have some Duracell batteries here, uh, the, the negative, which is the flat part of the battery, not the one with the little uh, tip on the end, uh, but the flat part goes against the springs and that's the negative and then the other side is the positive. And when I turned this on, uh, you can see maybe, well, yeah, you can see, uh, the units were, are not coming on. The, the light comes on very faintly. And so I thought my new batteries were dead already. Um, but I took the other one and I wanted to test. This one works great, you can see. And I'm gonna show you more about how well this lights up for the limited application that I use it for. So I'm gonna show you um, what's going on here. Cause I, I do wanna show you this because um, a little bit disappointed. These were pretty cheap and I've used it for a while, so it's not that big of a deal. But, um, you know, when you buy something, you want it to last for a while. So, um, so again, here are the batteries in the good one. And I'm going to take these out. And just to demonstrate that, in fact, um, when I put them in here, I get the same effect. You can see maybe how that lights up just a little bit. Those elements do come on and you can see just a small light on each point in there. So this proves to me that this light is defective and I can't use it anymore because the LED light strips are no longer working. Uh, but this one is good and this one I've had on the top of my desk for uh, a while. And uh, I'm gonna now mount it on the bottom of my desk. And I wanna show you uh, why I use this on the bottom of my desk. So there's a couple of features about this light that I like a lot. And one is that it comes with a, um, a um, Velcro uh, pad and two Velcro strips that are mounted and glued to the back of the light fixture. And uh, this pad, uh, you could peel off the back of the pad and it sticks. So I have one of these pads stuck to the underside of my desk and I can uh, now use the same Velcro from the other light that's defective uh, to mount it on there. In addition to the Velcro strips, there's two magnets. And so this could actually be put on a refrigerator. I have a metal door, exterior door uh, to my office right over there. And sometimes I've just put it on there, but just to show you uh, with, with my hammer here, uh, that it, uh, it is a magnet and uh, it does stick so uh, to a refrigerator or whatever. Uh, so this is a, a great use for, um, for this light uh, in a place where you don't have electricity, where you just need a, a, a quick light here and there. Uh, this is not usable, you know, to be on all the time. I don't know how long the batteries would last if you just kept it on, but I just use it for very short periods of time. And I'm gonna show you why I use it on the underside of my desk. So let's, let's take a look. So uh, you can see, um, I've got some clutter here, but I have a black um, Dell computer box and I've done some YouTube videos on that. And you can see all my stuff down here. And um, so when I mount this uh, right there on the Velcro, uh, all I have to do is flip the switch and I, I get a good light on my computer and everything under there. If I have to mess with the wires, uh, I can uh, do that. And if I need a little bit of extra light to see uh, the Dell computer, it's great for that. So the, the Dell computer uh, is a black box 
and there's no um, this very faint gray lettering on the box and it's very hard to see even in good light so what I did is I put some yellow tape here and marked it with a, a black marker so I can see these spots in a low light situation where uh, the different points are where I can plug in an SD card, uh, my headphones, and my microphone. Uh, so anyway, I think that's one of the flawed designs of the Dell computer. It should be a bright white on a lettering on a black box uh, or something, a yellow. Um, so with the light, it helps a little bit, but even with the light, it's not great. But having that this light mounted on the underside of my desk has been a great help for me when I need a quick light uh, and one of them has been on my desk that I've just kind of used as a flashlight or on the metal door next to me uh, but unfortunately this one's gone uh, I'm just gonna have to throw it out I don't know what the cost of these are uh, but uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna put in the in the show notes I'll look it up on Harbor Freight and um, and leave a link so that you can look this up uh, this is a pretty pretty good product I like it um, didn't, it's not perfect, but uh, for what I explained, it works well.